I tell you, your son Simon up there thinks um, it's Oslo as well. The sad reality is you're both wrong. The right answer is C, Sam Moritz. Switzerland, 1928 and 48. Yeah. I'm really sorry, you were flying as well at one Yeah, point. yeah, and then it went wrong and... But he still goes away with £1,000. <laughs> I'm sorry it wasn't more, but that will play. Good. OK. £1,000, Mike. Right, here we go again, then. We've got ten nicely turned-out new contenders, all hoping to be the next to step into our arena of dreams. So, before the night's over, will one of tonight's top ten bag a million? Let's meet them. They are... James Thurston from Lancashire. Kim Hexer from Kent. Chris Elliott from Northamptonshire. Dave Genner from Worcestershire. Mo Libby from Wiltshire. Mark Conway from Angus. Tommy Davis from London. Tory Bennett from Derby. Paul Dawson from Suffolk. Jeremy Rowe from Surrey. Hey up, ten people all proving that waving is not as easy as it looks. <laughs> you thought the Queen had it easy. So, fast finger first. Want to find out who's going to be the next to play for the big money? We have one question. It has four answers, but only one correct order. But who can punch in that correct order in the shortest possible time? No distraction, please, guys, from the audience. They really do need to concentrate. Right, this is their first question. Put these actors in the order they first played Batman on film. Christian Bale, George Clooney, Michael Keaton, Val Kilmer. Okay, they don't look uh, too confident looking around. Let's have a look. Let's find out first and foremost the right order. Uh, farthest back in time actually was Michael Keaton. Uh, that was 89. Uh, Val Kilmer then 1995. George Clooney 97. And Christian Bale, the most recent, uh, a couple of years ago, 2005. So that's the right order. Those four played Batman in that order. Now, out of 10, I'm pretty sure 10 didn't get it right. These got it right, then we'll find out who was fastest. One, James Thurston, 4.77 seconds. Come on, James, you're the only one who got it right. The man. You're a gobsmack. Uh, OK, let's play for a million pounds over here, shall okay. we, might as well. OK, our first uh, new contestant of our ten tonight is James Thurston from Blacko in Lancashire. Now, after leaving school, James went into the army for five years, then he did all sorts of driving jobs. He's now a postman, something he's been doing for two years. Uh, for the past seven years, Tracy up there has been his partner, and, in fact, she's very excitedly sitting up there in the audience uh, this evening, although she's telling him to be calm. They now have an 18-month-old baby daughter called Kerry, who James says takes up a lot of their time and attention but they just love being parents. <laughs> uh, Tracy and he are also... Oh, God, what a houseful. Uh, they're also mum and dad to two cats, a dog and lots of fish. They're in the process of looking to buy a larger home. Well, there's a surprise. But money is tight. <laughs> James was watching Millionaire not long ago on the telly and thought he'd be quite good on the show. We'll find out. And some extra money, he said, would certainly help with the house hunting. So he applied just the once. And here he is. Right, James, lots of luck. We'll chat as we go. Fifteen questions. Three brand new lifelines, one million pounds. Let's play. Who wants to be a millionaire? So, question number one is for 100 pounds. There are no trick questions on millionaire. Take your time, have a look. This is for 100 quid. Which of these items is most likely to be worn by a judge at work? Bowler hat, wig, headscarf, knotted handkerchief. <laughs> Are you sure? Yes. It's the right answer. You've got £100. <laughs> OK, 
Okay, question number two for 200 quid. Which of these is a symbol of good luck? Ballet shoe, horseshoe, gum shoe, running shoe. Horseshoe. It's the right answer, you got 200 pounds. <laughs> Question number three is for £300. Which phrase means, I can't understand it at all? It's all Roman to me. It's all Egyptian to me. It's all Greek to me. It's all Persian to me. It's all Greek to me. It's the right answer, you've got £300. <laughs> You're two away from a thousand. I do just warn you that if you did give me a wrong answer, the next two questions, you would go home with nothing at all. Uh, I'm sure it won't happen. You have all three lifelines. Question number four is for 500 quid. A rural area which has not previously been built on is known as what kind of site? Green Hill, Green Lee, Green Field, Green Meadow. Green Field. The right answer, you got 500 pounds. <laughs> right, James, last point you can go home with El Zippo, but this would guarantee you 1,000 pounds. It's question number five. First big milestone, here it comes. What's the name for the meeting of cardinals which elects a pope? Concord, conclave, condiment, conflux. The audience. Okay, right, audience. Uh, that's exactly what lifelines are for. Let's make sure we get up to at least £1,000. All in your keypads, please. Here's a question, it's worth a grand. What is the name for the meeting of cardinals which elects a pope? Now, A on your keypads is Concord, B is Conclave, C is Condiment, D is Conflux. All in your keypads, please, all vote now. Seventy-six percent, big majority, are saying conclave. Ten percent concord. Uh, Nine percent think condiment, and five percent think conflux. It's your call. Yeah, I thought it were conclave. Just to make sure. Final answer. Yeah. Final it's answer. the right answer. You got one thousand pounds. It's a weird idea of a condiment of cardinals. Yes, it's a salt and pepper of cardinals. <laughs> Do you see the new pope? Right, you have £1,000. Let's race on. You have two lifelines. You have a phone a friend, you have a 50-50. Question number six is for 2000 On TV, who has the catchphrase, you're fired? Michael Parkinson, Alan Sugar, Des Lynham, Simon Cowell. Alan Sugar. Sure? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Final answer. Yep, final answer. It's the right answer, you've got £2,000. <laughs> right, you got two grand. How do you feel? You look kind of numb. I'm getting a bit better now. I've got to the £1,000 mark, so... Yeah, yeah, you've got two grand. You've got two lifelines. Yeah. You've got hundreds of kids, dogs, fish, <laughs> goldfish, cats. Um, actually, you've done a load of jobs. You. You were in the army for five years. Yeah. Five Where years. were you? Anywhere, anywhere nasty? Uh, Kosovo. I went oh, to Kosovo that's... for five months. Scary. Uh, a bit. I was only nineteen, so yeah, yeah. quite young. And you're working now as a postman. Yeah. And you did say to me, I find this a puzzle. I find many people on the show a puzzle, but <laughs> you did say to me this afternoon, if you won a million quid, you would probably carry on working as a postman. Yeah, I would do. Are you completely mad? No, no. I'm, I'm, I'll do. Keep going. But you have to get up at four o'clock and deliver mail and... Oh, I enjoy it, it's good. ...bitten by dogs <laughs> and... ...funny housewives in their <laughs> nineties and... I mean, you don't... That's the reason why I'm going to carry on. <laughs> I suppose there are some perks. <laughs> you have 2,000.
Question number seven is for £4,000. You've still got a 50-50 and you've got a phone friend. Let's have a look, see what you want to do. What's the name of the wife of Conservative politician David Cameron? Amanda. Miranda. Samantha. Vanessa. The wife of David Cameron. Amanda. Miranda. Samantha. Vanessa. For £4,000. Really, um, I think I'll have to phone a friend. Okay, who would know? Um, who would know that you know? Matt, my uncle Chris. Uncle Chris. Yeah. Are they usually very intelligent, Christopher? You're fine. <laughs> uncle Chris, where's he? Next to you. Uh, just lives in Barrowford Village, next to me. Okay. Right, we phone Uncle Chris. Uh, tell him the question. Four possible answers. You've still got a 50-50, so. Hey, you can still take the money, you can still take £2,000. Chris Hartley. Hello, Chris Hartley. Chris Tarrant here. Good evening. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Good evening. How are you? Fine. Well, you know you said you'd be phone a friend. Yes. Well, this is that bit. Right. Uh, James is here. He's doing OK. He's stuck on one particular question he thinks you'll know. Right. He's got £2,000. Right. The next question is worth £4,000 to him. There's still four possible answers. All right, matey? Yep. Right, James, fingers crossed. You have £2,000. 30 seconds could get you to 4000 Your time starts now. Yeah. What Aye. is the name of the wife of the Conservative politician, David Cameron? Is it Amanda? Miranda? Samantha? Or Vanessa? Oh, James, I don't know. I don't know, it would be a guess. Yeah. Right. Uh, it's okay then, thank you. Hello there again. It's okay. All right, sorry yeah. James. It's all right, thank you. Well, he was an absolute waste of space. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'll have to go 50-50 then. Okay. Right, can we take away two random wrong answers? Give James the right answer and the one remaining wrong answer. So, it's one of those. Now, what do you do? You've got 2,000. Miranda or Samantha? One's worth £4,000. One would reduce you back to £1,000. I'm going to play Samantha. Why? Guess. Final answer. Final answer. Why not Miranda? Sounds more sort of... It does, yeah. <laughs> so I'll go for Samantha. So, you think it's... Sounds more likely to be Miranda, but you've given me Samantha. <laughs> it's the right answer. You've got £4,000. <laughs> I don't actually know how you got there, James. Neither did I. I just... But you got four grand. Now, you have no lifelines. You are three away from 32000 have a look at question number eight. This is for £8,000. You have no lifelines. You've got four grand at this moment. You could double your money. Here it comes. Marchmont and Portobello are areas of which city? Durham, Edinburgh, Gloucester, Norwich. Marchmont and Portobello are areas of which city? Durham, Edinburgh, Gloucester, Norwich. One of those is worth eight grand. Three of those will cost you three grand. I'll play Edinburgh. Why? An inkling. An inkling? Samantha was a good inkling. Yeah. Final answer. Final answer. It's the right answer. You've got 8,000 pounds. <laughs> I 
I'm thrilled. Eight grand. Have a look at the next one. If you don't.